Today we're going to be reviewing Star Walker by Mont Blanc. Let's talk about it. Hey Frag friends, today we're going to be again reviewing Star Walker by Mont Blanc. If you would go ahead and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you're a returning subscriber, we'll say thank you very much for making this fragrance community so awesome. Make sure you've got the notifications turned on, that way you're up, uh, notified every time we upload this sweet smelling fragrance related content. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I've uh, been going through my collection, I've been trying to uh, sell some things, give away some things, and I realized that I've got a lot of fragrances in my collection that I've never reviewed. And uh, since I'm not putting out a lot of content because I've not been buying fragrances lately. Um, I thought rather than just doing weird lists and things, um, maybe I should go back and review a lot of these fragrances that I've either never reviewed or uh, haven't reviewed in a long time and my nose has changed, my likes and dislikes have changed. And so I'm gonna be doing more just short. I'm gonna try to keep them to about five, six minute fragrance reviews, okay? So again, we are looking today at Star Walker uh, from Mont Blanc. Let's look at the presentation. All right, so taking a look at the presentation on Star Walker from Mont Blanc, which Mont Blanc is known for making um, pens, writing utensils. This is the Mont Blanc Star Walker, in fact, writing. Uh, pen, which they make very expensive ink pens. And I can tell you from experience, unless you're buying a really nice fountain pen, if you're just buying a rollerball pen like this, there's really no sense in paying outrageous prices. It's kind of a flex, um, you know, the same way you can do in fragrance where you can pay three or $400 for Creed Aventus, just so you can tell everybody you've got the real thing even though Creed is built on um, fake marketing. So to me, they're not really the real thing either. Uh, but anyways, you can flex and have the real thing, or you can just have a really good, you know, Zebra pen or uh, a Pilot G2 or something like that, because it, you know, they write just the same. But this is what it's based on, this pen right here, the Star Walker by Mont Blanc. Uh, the box looks good on it. Um, it almost has like a lightsaber effect. You know, I, when I think of Star Walker, I think of, it makes me think of, you know, Luke Skywalker. Um, I started to say his original name was Star Walker, but it may have been Star Killer or something like that. Anyways, that's just what it always makes me think of is Star Wars. Um, Kind of got that same effect on the side, and I do think that's probably a, supposed to be a lightsaber type effect. Your batch code and everything on the bottom and the bar code. Now, the bottle, I really like it. Um, it's pretty, you know, plain, uh, but it looks really good. It feels good in hand. It's thick, heavy duty glass. Um, it's kind of a gray tint. It's got Star Walker there um, in silver, Mont Blanc in silver as well. But to me, what really makes the presentation on it, you've got that really nice Mont Blanc emblem on the top, but the cap, which it's a heavy, you know, cap, it's metal filled with plastic. The cap looks like a watch stem the winder on a watch. Uh, so this part right here. And um, like a knurled stem winder, like if you was gonna wind your automatic watch. That's what it looks like to me. The atomizer here, good, gets the job done. Um, it's not bad, so that's a good thing. So that's the presentation for Star Walker. All right, so Star Walker, again, here, um, is classified as a woody, spicy fragrance for men. Uh, the perfumer is Michael 
Almeric, Al Almeric, sorry. Um, he's a distinguished fragrance creator though. And looking up to see what all he had done, he had done some, uh, a lot of fragrances, number one, and he had done some that were both famous and some maybe infamous, some, you know, well-beloved and well-received fragrances and some that people don't like. Uh, among some of his fragrances, Dior Fahrenheit, um, Beloved Fragrance, Zeno by Davidoff, Beloved Fragrance. Both of those also hated fragrances, so it just, they're, um, you know, very polarizing fragrances. Uh, Gucci Pour Homme, Youp Homme, again, both some loved, some hated, you know, just depending on the person. Bentley for Men Absolute, um, Dunhill Icon. He done like 14 fragrances for Bond Number no. Nine. He did like nine fragrances for Bottega Veneta, and he's done many, 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 many more. So, very accomplished master uh, perfumer. Now, the thing that shocked me was this fragrance is often compared, of course, to this fragrance, Versace Man Au Fresh. Um, but what I didn't know is that this one actually come out before this one did. 2006 release on Mano Fresh, 2005 release on Mont Blanc Star Walker. Um, they are very, very similar. They're not identical. There are subtle differences, especially when you, now in the air, if you was wearing the one and you tell me you was wearing the other one, I'd probably just agree with you. But when you get down into them, smelling them on the skin close up, you can definitely pick up differences. So, but I would say that it, it would almost be impossible to make this one so close to this one without at least this inspiring it. So um, those of you that thought Star Walker was a ripoff of Mental Fresh. No, nope, it's actually the other way around, um, if it's that at all. But woody, spicy, I mean, this is to me more of a, what I call a citrus aromatic or a woody citrus because it opens up with an explosion of citrus. And, and both of these fragrances, although I'm just reviewing this one, they wear like a cologne style fragrance. Now, this one though, it does dry down a little woodier and has a more year round um, appeal than to me, Mano Fresh. I only reach for this in the hot spring days and in the summer days, where in this one, you can wear it year round if, I mean, you can wear anything year round if you want to, but it does have a little more woods in it. And um, they both open very bright citrusy. They both have this green tinge to them. Um, let me go over the notes here. So the one, the, the main note that this one is known for is, on the top note is bamboo. Then you have bergamot and mandarin orange. Middle notes are sandalwood, white musks, and cedar. Base notes, ginger, fir resin, nutmeg, and amber. So again, it opens up very citrusy. And I'm thinking that the green tinge is the bamboo. Um, I've got bamboo floors in our church. I've never got down and sniffed them. So I don't know, but I suspect that uh, bamboo is going to come across with kind of a green nature to it. Um, and so there is definitely this kind of a green and kind of a dusty vibe to it. To me, it smells like it's got ISOE Super in it um, because it has a little bit of that pencil shavings, you know, type of smell. Star Walker comes across, to me, more woody than Mano Fresh. And actually, when you get right down on them, it smells a little better to me than Mano Fresh. And I really didn't think that was the case until I really started comparing them side by side. 
You know, I would have thought that I would have preferred the fragrance of Mano Fresh, uh, but that's not the case. So uh, again, opens up bright citruses, kind of wears like a cologne style fragrance, very citrusy, uh, very, you know, musky and sandalwood, creamy. It's not a heavy, dense pine wood or anything like that. Um, and then when this one starts to dry down and you lose those top notes, um, it is just more of a, a, again, that pencil wood, you know, wood shavings type of smell. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's got Isoe Super in it. By the time the, you know, the full, it gets into the full dry down, to me, it, it, it just is almost faded away to nothing. And so that's the knock on this, both of these fragrances, honestly. But um, to me, it don't hang around long enough, at least on my skin. Everybody's skin is gonna be different. It, the projection is good, it's not great, but it's better than average. You, you can definitely smell this and people are gonna smell you for a while. A couple of good hours of projection. Um, but honestly, it's about a four to five hour scent, at least for me. I, I don't know, you know, I may be going anosmic to it. Uh, but the thing about it is it's, it's a great versatile scent. If you want a nice citrus woody fragrance with a little bit of a green tinge to it, I highly recommend it. It was recommended to me, of course, and to many of you by our buddy Tyler at Simply Fragrances. He says he is the spokesman for this fragrance, and I'd say he is because he definitely sings its praises more than, than any reviewer that I watch. Um, but those are my thoughts on it. I think it's a, a good, again, um, average performer projector and all that, a little bit above average projection. Um, it's a resprayer if you wanna get a full work day, unless you've just got, um, skin chemistry that works excellent with these. My skin just kind of soaks these uh, clones up. Also, I go a little nose blind to them. Uh, but great thing about it is, all right, if I was gonna pick one of this, one or the other, I would go with this because this is $25 for 100 ml on discounters, and this one's gonna be 45 to 50. Um, so, and they smell almost identical and yet this one is the original. So again, pay less money for the original fragrance. You're gonna to have to respray both of them if you want a lot of performance out of them and all that. But Star Walker by Mont Blanc, I give it a thumbs up. Great spring and summer fragrance, but you can wear it all year round. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Till we see you down the road, I say God bless. Frag on, Frag fam.